the grizzly bear. Moni Travis lived in a cabin near the woods. She had grown up in the city but listened carefully when her neighbors shared their experiences of living close to nature. One night it was quite late when Molly thought she heard a sound outside. She opened the door and walked out on the path that led to the woods. Then she stopped in horror because right in front of her was a huge grizzly bear. The bear ran after her and when she struggled its grip only tightened. Poor Molly was sure she would never escape. Then she remembered her neighbor's advice and went limp. Thinking the woman was dead, the bear let her go. She did not stir for several minutes. Finally, when she was sure the bear had gone, Molly called out for help. She had many cuts and bruises, but her quick thinking had saved her life. Benny and the squirrels. Benny was a gardener's daughter. She was 6 years old but had not started going to school because her father could not afford the fee. Benny spent her days in the garden. She loved the squirrels and would bring often some food for them. One day Benny saw a coin shining in the grass. She took it to her father. He asked in excitement, "Where did you find this?" When Benny took her father there, she saw another coin. Soon they found another and then another coin. Following the trail of coins, they came to the hole where the squirrels lived. The squirrels had a pot of coins. Benny's father said, "These are gold coins and look quite old." So he took the coins to the museum. They really were ancient coins. So the museum gave Benny's father a reward. Benny could go to school thanks to the squirrels. The crash. Paul was driving home from work. The weather was stormy and it was raining very heavily. Paul was driving along the river bank hoping to take a shortcut and reach home early. This road had many sharp curves. He was not able to see the curves clearly and slid off the road. He crashed through the guardrail and landed straight into the river. Paul could not believe what was happening, but he soon got over his shock and realized the danger he was in. If the car went under water, he knew he would never be able to escape. Right now, his car was bobbing above the water, slowly sinking. Paul knew he had only seconds to escape. He smashed his window and tried to get out of the car by holding on to the roof. Soon he fell into the water. With great difficulty, he swam to the river bank and caught his breath. If he had delayed even a moment, he would never have managed to survive. Encounter with a snow leopard. Stella and Dan loved to explore different places. Stella wanted to visit a glacier, so they hired a car and set off. As they drove higher and higher up the mountains, the sky became dark with clouds. The snow was light at first, but soon came down so thick and fast that it was hard to see anything. The road was now covered with a thick layer of snow. It was too dark and slippery to drive on, so all the cars stopped in a line, waiting for the snowfall to stop. Suddenly, there was a loud howling noise. Before they knew what had happened, a large snow leopard leapt onto the hood of Stella and Dan's car. Startled, Dan accidentally switched on the headlights of the car and windshield wipers. The snow leopard looked startled. With another loud roar, he leapt off and ran into the gathering snow. Stella and Dan could not believe what had just happened. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.